Are you sure you're ready for me? I'm ready for you. Positive 100%. 100 percent. 102 percent, darling. Ah, I love you guys' energy. Yeah? You gotta have it so early in the morning, right? No. All right, dear. Right in here. You change into your gown. Okay. Booty, bonnet. Everything can go right in the locker right here. All right. Here is your key. Just put it around your neck. Excellent. Lock excellent. the door, darling, and we'll see. Just come through the door. And we'll see you. Okay. Thank you. So here's a question that I don't think that I've ever answered uh, or no one's ever asked me. What do you wear for your egg retrieval? Um, I say wear something very loose and comfortable. Um, and these are just drawstring. You definitely want a drawstring because you don't want anything tied on your stomach afterwards. Uh, and wear one of these little two-piece jogging suits are perfect because I didn't, I don't want to pull anything over my head after because it's just you're gonna be in pain abdominal pain seriously lots of cramping so I just put on a jacket and zip it all the way up and that's gonna be my other layer underneath my my jacket of course so and sneakers and thick socks because my feet are always cold oh and I put my hair in a bun on top of my head because you're gonna be laying down and sedated and you don't wanna you know cause any issues Okay. Perfecto. I'm having my temper paper. <laughs> you are a piece of work. Okay, you still have some work to sign. Good day. Come on. Okay. This is my dream of blood pressure, too. I wish I have no blood pressure. You do? Yeah. Okay, so I'm here for my um, retrieval. And um, I've done everything that I'm supposed to do so far. I've signed my papers. I've taken my temperature, my blood pressure. Everything was perfect. I'm good to go. I have this nice little lovely hat. Check it out. I'm going to bring back. Why, why are all the clothes blue? I want some pink clothes in here. Rose, maybe. A lovely brown would be good with my complexion. I think I should talk to them about that. <laughs> um, Everybody wonders whether or not this process is kind of scary, and actually, um, it, it is. I mean, anytime you're going to be knocked out, put under drugs or whatever, it's kind of scary. So, get ready for that. Okay. My anesthesiologist today. You're going to knock me out. You're going to be knocked out. Just don't use a bat. <laughs> I've got something better. <laughs> We'll be doing IV sedation today. Excellent. I'm going to start your IV. It has to be in this arm. I'm right. a cancer survivor, right. so I've got this on the one. right side. Yeah. And then uh, once we have the IV, we'll go back to the OR and uh, I'll put my monitor on you. And once I have the monitor, and give you a little oxygen through the nose and uh, start to inject the anesthesia, you'll be asleep. Excellent. And you'll be asleep throughout the procedure. Wonderful. You'll How be, sleepy will I be when I be wake com up? Uh, well, you'll be groggy when you wake up. Okay. But during and the how long will it take before it usually wears off? About 30 minutes. All right. So yeah. do I stay here for 30 minutes? Yes, you okay. have to stay here for 30 minutes until you're uh, ready to go home. Okay. And, you know, we'll and give you something to drink, and uh, if you can keep it down, you know, not get nauseated or vomiting. You can go home after that. Excellent. Thank you so much. You're welcome. Hello, husband unit. Hello. Are you ready for this? I don't have to do anything. <laughs> I did my part. I got you here. <laughs> what do you mean you don't have you to do anything? Door. I like the shirt you have on. I don't like the knee. All right. Getting the IV ready. Ugh. Yeah. All right, so this is a typical room. You see, you got your nice little leggy thingies here. <laughs> That's where you're gonna lay down. That's my buddy, my anesthesiologist there. You're gonna be monitoring me. And this is my view from here, the ceiling. <laughs> and we'll be getting started in just a little bit. So Dr. Sachs, we're about to do a retrieval. Exactly what's, what that is, what's that? What are we doing? We're gonna go ahead and we're gonna give you some nice sedation. Dr. Dest is gonna take wonderful care of you. And then I'm going to, under ultrasound guidance, take a needle, place it through the vagina, into the ovaries, and aspirate the fluid out of the uh, follicles. The fluid will be handed over to Dr. Sun, our embryologist, and Laura. They're working hard this morning, and we're going to get the follicles recovered and hopefully get some eggs out of them. 
It's always tough because you don't know what the retrieval rate will be, but you know we've got a good team to do our best. Excellent. Thank you very much. Mm -hmm. You want to wake up? All right. All right. How do you How do you feel? Feeling good. Feeling <laughs> good. good. That's, my, that's my boy over here. Looking good, Billy Ray. Yeah, so he took hey. such good yeah, care of me. It's like I'm waking up. I don't feel. Yeah, we just together. Right? Yeah. 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 Say cheese. I don't feel extra groggy. I feel like I'm coming along. You know. Thank God. Thank, Thank, you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. He's got the You're best cocktail in town. We know what we got yet. We got number six. We got six eggs. We got six eggs. Hey. We got six eggs. Great. They look good. Don't know that yet. Yeah, they're okay. looking at it right now. All right. So. Six eggs. Okay. Woo -hoo. It's a good number. It's a good number. It's a good number. Very good number. All you need is just one good egg, that's all. <laughs> yeah, that's true, too. Oh, yeah. I want to have at least two. I want to get twins and be done. What? Five twins? Dude, I'm so finished. You want to give me some of that stuff where you suck out all the fat, and I'm done. That's yeah? Oh, yes. I don't think you'll need that. Dude, I am the vainest person alive. Are you? Yes. There's nothing wrong with that. Mm -hmm. You and Carly Simon should hang out. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe she... So the whole process of me being in there, that only takes about 10 minutes, right? Depending on how many follicles you have, yeah. Cool. Yep, I did, did very I well. I never knew how long it took. 10 minutes. 10 minutes of uh, the, the egg retrieval process, and then I have to stay here for 30 minutes to make sure the anesthesiologist is working. And you've got five more, and then we're going to move you to phase two. All right, five more minutes. Do I have cookies? Mm -hmm. I want my cookies too. Oh, you can't eat my cookies. My famous name is Cookie. Look over there, hungry. You can have a little steal my cookies. Oh. Honey, I love you. I wouldn't want to go through this with anybody else in the world. So how'd it go? Everything went very well. Ovaries were easy to work with, no problems. Right. We got a group of eggs out, and we got from both ovaries, so that's good. Okay. And now we'll look to see how they do overnight, and we'll find out tomorrow morning about fertilization. Great. How many eggs did we get? Six total. Six. So one on, three on each ovary. So is that, that kind of normal? That that's very we normal. Okay. That's very normal. That's generally right in what we see is a good average rate. Okay. Now we want to see how they do, and obviously tomorrow with fertilization is probably the most important part, and then we'll watch them divide over the next few days to be ready for transfer. So how do we decide whether or not it will be a three-day or a five-day transfer? I'm going to look at the embryos every day, let you know how they're dividing, and then try to make the best decision based on that. Yeah, are we doing ICSI this time? We are indeed. And what is ICSI? We're going to take a single one of the sperm and directly inject it into each egg in order to try to enhance the probability of fertilization. Okay. And if we have like two grade A and maybe like, you know, a couple more that aren't grade A, mm -hmm. how many do you normally suggest um, people think about putting in? It's very difficult to give a set answer for that because a lot depends on the age of the woman, the quality of the embryos, in other words, their physical appearance, as well as how they've done in the past. And so when it comes down for the day of transfer, the three of us will sit down, we'll go over what the embryos look like, I'll scope them myself, and then we'll talk about what's the best way to try to maximize the chances of pregnancy but minimize the risk of multiple pregnancy. I don't have a problem with multiple pregnancies, but I don't want more than two. That's, I agree with that. For sure. If I get twins, what we're you know we're done, right? We're done with that. <laughs> we're done. Excellent. All right. Thank you so right, much. Monica. Everything went really well. Very good. And, and the, the everybody took really good care of us today Excellent. too. That's so. what we like to hear. Great. Thank okay. you. Good.